Hello, it's David Bean here, Willie Bean, for YouTube Niche, and today I want to show you my combination lock. I'm making a tutorial on it because it's super easy, as you can see, only a little bit of wiring involved, and really simple. Um, this particular lock's combination is one three and four and as you can see the door opens click any wrong lever the wrong way and the door will shut um over here is a out one was a five digit combination here's a couple of examples of a four digit combination which is what i will be building in this video um this is how it will look by default all the levers will be up you flick down the correct levers, and voila, the door's open. Same thing over here. Flick all the right levers in the right way, and your door will open. This is a bad door. <laughs> I guess. Okay, so over here, just... What you're going to want to start out with is your pistons. You're going to need four sticky pistons, like this. Oops, not like that. Don't look at that one. That one's deformed. Like that. And you're going to want a block, whatever solid block you want, as long as it's not sand or gravel on top of that. And then you want sand or gravel on top of that. Simple. Just like that really easy okay and you want to string these together like so over here you want to put your torch and then your repeater put a repeater on each of the solid blocks whatever you happen to have all the way and then you take this current over to your door which will be right after I get a door will be right Oh, I wouldn't need that. Uh, it'll be right here. And then the, your next step involves the thing that I just threw away. Uh, there you are. Your next step involves building your wall. This is where your levers will go. However many pistons you have is however many levers you will need. You will need four for this one. Put them all right here. And we're going to have the same combination on this one as we did for all those ones because it's the easiest to remember. So for this one, we're going to have three is the one that's going to need to be inverted. You, What you do to invert it is put your torch right there, put a piece of redstone right there, and take it to your ne nearest piston. What inverting it does is, when you have your lever on, the redstone will go off. I mean, well, when you have your redstone on the... The redstone torch will go off. See, normally this redstone would turn on that redstone and whatever. You get the, Just invert it. <laughs> and then, you're going to want to invert... Well, you don't want to invert this piece. From here on out, it's pretty simple, except for this one is not that... S nah. This one I'm going to have to wrap it around the other way because I built it a little too close, but it'll still do the same job. just want to take your piece of redstone to your nearest piston, whatever your piston happens to be nearest. That one was a little bit... You'd probably want to build your first block, your pistons, a little bit further away from your thing. And now it's done. What The one that you're going to want up to stay up is that one and flip the, all the rest of the levers where they're supposed to be which is down and your door will not open it should oh that's why it's not opening <laughs> it will open if i do it correctly there you go and flip any wrong lever in the wrong place and it'll all turn off and your door will close see so you gotta have it probably put it on a sign somewhere and there you go, and I'm going to do the same thing to this door as I did to the other one. I'm going to fill it with lava, because it's a smart thing to do. 
it is a smart thing to do. So have fun building your combination locks. Please remember to rate and comment. And you know, if you want to subscribe, you can. But <laughs> uh, open up, you stupid door. Right there, you go. But you don't need to subscribe. Either way, rate and comment. And thanks for watching. Have fun.